Okay, let's talk about functions. Now, if you are any sort of math student, especially uh, any type of algebra student, or maybe even a more uh, advanced math beyond uh, algebra, you need to understand functions. Functions is a huge, huge, huge topic in mathematics, and it's extremely important that you have a basic sense of what a function is. So if you've been confused about what a function is, you're like, yeah, I think I know what it is, but I'm not quite sure, or maybe you're just like, you know, hearing about functions for the first time, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a very, very basic introduction to the concept of functions. Now, uh, this topic uh, is much more involved um, than what I'm gonna do in this video, so there's a lot you need to know about functions, but let's just get you to get a basic understanding, a basic definition of what a function is in mathematics. So we're gonna do this uh, in just one second. Actually, let me um, ask you, if you think you know what a function is, and don't go look in your notes or math book or go search this online, what do you think a function is? Okay, go ahead and put that into the comment section and we'll kind of compare uh, definitions here in, in uh, one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm gonna leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you are struggling in math, maybe you uh, have not done well in your previous math courses, or maybe you're having a tough time in your current math course, well, I can help you out. I've been teaching math for decades, and I can teach you in a very, very clear and understandable way. That's my style of instruction. I really kind of break away from how a textbook um, you know, teaches. I, I break things down in my own styles. I explain math. I don't really teach math. I explain things. Uh, so if you don't feel like you get enough instruction right now in your course, or maybe you're not connecting with your teacher's teaching uh, style, I can help you out, especially if you're at the middle school high school or college level, you definitely want to check out my math help program. Now, um, if you are preparing for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, HiSET, SAT, ACT, uh, maybe the GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, CLEP exam, ACCUPLACER, ALEX exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, well, you definitely got to check out my uh, homeschool math courses. Matter of fact, we just won a big uh, national award, pretty prestigious award. We came out number one uh, winners for middle and high school math. So we're going to be sharing that announcement here. But this is pretty exciting stuff. So you definitely got to check out our homeschool math program. And uh, if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my notes in the description of this video. But um, I'm here to tell you, okay, if you don't like taking notes, well, you're going to have a tough time getting a good grade in math, okay? So if you want great grades in math, start taking great math notes, okay? Improve your notes and everything else would get better. Okay, so what do I have here? Well, this is kind of a classic kind of a model uh, to talk about a function. We call this like a little function machine, or this, this is my description or my kind of um, basic sketch of a function machine. So we're going to use this model here in a second, in a second and a couple other things as well. But let's get into functions. And um, first of all, before we talk about functions, we need to talk about something called relations, okay? Because uh, functions are certain type of relations, okay? So let's just kind of do this like so. We have this big world of uh, relations. And then, uh, so inside the world of relations, some relations are functions, okay? All right, so let's just get this down right here. Okay, so all functions are relations and some relations are functions, all right? Let's just be clear about that. So all functions are relations, and then uh, some function, um, uh, some relations are functions. Okay, so if you're clear with me on that, let's go ahead and just first of all define what a relation is. Okay, a relation is nothing more than an x y point. Okay, so if I put this point right here, let's see, right there, let's call this the uh, point. Let's just make something up. Maybe five uh, two. Okay, well, this in and of itself is a relation. So a relation is simply just a point on the x, y plane, and it's typically a set of points. Okay, so let's say I have this point over here. Let's call this 1, uh, 7. So this would be a set or collection of points. So we have 1, 7, and uh, 5, 2. Okay, so that's a set. So in this most basic sense, 
a relation is a point or a collection of points and you can have as many as you want and um, actually you can even have uh, like a graph all right uh, now this graph would represent a collection of points because there's points on this graph right here okay now we're not going to break down every single little tiny point on this uh, graph because there would be an infinite amount of points because this thing goes forever but if I was to list out all the points a lot of the points that were on this graph again that would be a description of a relation okay so again relations are nothing more than a collection of points on the XY plane all right pretty simple so therefore functions are also a collection of um, XY points however uh, functions have certain kind of um, a certain property uh, that they have to follow beyond just any kind of collection. All right, it's a specific type of collection of points, and now we're going to kind of get into that. Okay, but again, you need to understand what a relation is because if you're trying to determine if something is a function and it's not a function, well then it's a relation. Okay, but again, all functions are relations. Okay, so uh, if you understand that, let's move on to our little function machine. And we're going to start now. Okay, so I'm also going to use a, what we call a mapping diagram to kind of drive home this point uh, of a function. So let's go ahead and uh, imagine here we have an X and a Y, an X and a Y. Now, what are these X, Y, uh, these X's and Y's? Well, these would represent like X uh, coordinates and then the respective Y coordinates. So like right here, this point five two. This is X, and then uh, right here, this 2 is Y. Remember, we're talking about ordered pair. Any point on the XY plane, it's X first, Y second. Okay, so when I'm talking about these X, Y's down here, that's what we're talking about. All right, so let's just make something up. Here is a function machine. Okay, it's a machine. We throw something into the machine. We get something out. Let's suppose I throw in a 1. Let me use a different color here. I'm going to throw a 1 into this machine. We're like, hey, let's throw it in there. Let's see what happens. And then we get a 7 that pops out. Okay, so we're like, all right, pretty cool. All right, so uh, what we're really seeing here with the mapping diagram, that 1, okay, maps to 7. And that really means uh, the point 0.17 on the XY plane. Okay. All right. So no big deal in our machine. If I took this one, I threw it into the machine, I get a 7 out. Uh, another way we could think about it, that is 1 maps to 7. It's always the X maps to the Y. It's never the Y maps to the X. It's always the X maps to the Y. So we're plugging. This is our input, if you will. Okay. And this is our output. Okay, so in our machine, you know, to, uh, to get something out of the machine, you got to put something into the machine. We put in our X's and then we get out our, our Y's. Okay, so one maps uh, to seven or X maps to Y. So there's our point. Okay, let's uh, put in some more points and see what happens. Let's uh, do two and we'll throw two in and say two, uh, we get a 10. All right, so pretty cool, right? When we uh, had two as our X, it mapped to 10, so that represents the point to 10. No problem there, okay? So, so far you can see we're developing a collection of XY points, okay? So, so in our little collection, we have 1, 7, uh, we have 2, 10, and I can go on and on in my little uh, function machine. So let's say we're just kind of messing around with throwing different numbers and whatnot, and now we go and we're like, hey, let's throw in... Uh, another one. Okay, now the last time we threw a one into this machine, we got we got a seven. But let's throw one in again. Or like, hey, let's throw another one into that machine. Now, if you throw this one into this machine, what would you expect to get out? Now, remember last time I threw a one into the machine, I got a seven. Now, if I say let's go, let's throw another one in, what do you think we should get? Okay, so if we throw a 1 into the machine, what should happen? Well, uh, you know, you would expect to get a 7, but what if we got a, a negative 9? All right, what if we're like, whoa, I threw a 1 in, but this time it came out to be a negative, one, uh, negative 9. Okay, so this time 1 maps to negative 9. All right, excuse my voice, um, just a little crackly day. But um, anyway, so let's stop and take a pause of what's going on here because now we have enough information to define a function. Okay, now 
Uh, most of you out there probably said, okay, if I throw a, I throw a one in again, I should get a seven because the last time I threw a one in, I got a seven. Well, uh, that would be logical. And that's what happens in a function. Okay. So in a function, every X maps to one and only one Y. Every X maps to one and only one Y. So we have a problem here. Okay. This one is going to seven. So that's the point one seven. And then over here I have one and it maps to negative nine. This cannot happen in the world of functions. So right here, uh, when I throw in the same number again, I can, I have to get that same output value. In other words, every X you throw in, you'll only get one and only one un unique output value. That is the definition of, of a function. For every X, you get one and only one output value. So let's take a look at, um, so this right here, okay, if I give you this collection, I said, hey, is this collection of X, Y points, okay, which of course is a relation, does this represent a function? And you would be like, hmm, let's take a look at the X's. One is going to seven. Then I'm like, oh, look, I have a one and it's trying to go to negative nine. This can happen, okay? Because every X must go to one and only one Y and here it's not. So let me show you a, uh, another model for functions. This is a very common model. And it's called a, it's another version of our mapping, okay? So it goes X to Y. So remember we had one, okay, maps to seven. And then we had, uh, what was that, two, I think mapped to 10. And then uh, we had one mapping to negative nine. Here, let me just move this down right here. Okay, so... When I look at this, you can see this X is trying to map to two uh, separate points. Okay, this is no, right? This would uh, not be a function. Every X maps to one and only one Y point, okay? Now, you wouldn't go uh, a one and negative nine, draw a one again. Once you have one uh, over here, that's all you have, okay? So you can't, you don't write one again, you just draw another arrow. So anytime you build a mapping diagram, this is an easy way to determine whether something is a function or not. Okay, so in this case, this is not a function. Now let's take a look at this situation. Let's see how you figure, uh, if you kind of uh, figure this one out. So one maps to seven, let's say I have two uh, and three, and let's say three maps to uh, 12, and let's say two maps to seven. So my question to you, is this a function? Okay, does this represent a function? Now the points would be what, one, seven, and then two is mapping to seven, so that would be two, seven, and then three is going to 12. That would be three, 12. This is the collection of our x, y points. This is the relation. And we're trying to determine, is this relation a function? So what do you think? Function, yes or no? Now, uh, just be careful. Uh, put your answer into the comment section, okay? Now be ready, uh, because some of you out there are gonna, you know, might end up looking like this. Wait a minute, what? I'm confused. Well, in fact, this is a function. This is a function. So if that's not your expre expression, and you're like, oh, okay, I understand that. Well, then I think you're really kind of catching on with what a function is. So let's uh, see what's going on here. So remember, the definition of a function is for every x, every x maps to one and only one y value. So let's take a look at this one. One maps to only seven. One is going to seven, no problem there. Now this is where most students are gonna get confused. They're like two, they're like, no, no, two can't go to the same number. No, okay, does two map to only one number? Two is mapping to only one number. It's mapping only to uh, seven. That could be the same number. Okay, so this doesn't um, break the rule what a function is. And of course, three maps to 12, there's no issues there. But even if I went like this, okay, uh, three maps to seven, there's no problem, okay, because each number is pointing to one and only one y value, okay? So if you understand that, then you're going to be able to determine what a function is. Let's go ahead and just uh, talk about one other quick thing here. So let's go ahead and just write out uh, a pretty straightforward function. So we look at the x's, each x is mapping uh, to one and only one y. Uh, so no problems here, this is a function, okay? Now, let's talk about these x values right here. These are our input values into our function, okay? 
And then our Y values right here, these are our output values, okay? So we have input and output values. Now the collection or the set of all of our input values, our X, this is called the domain, okay, of the function. And then the set of all the output values, this is called the range, okay? So just some uh, basic uh, function terminology that you're gonna have to know as well. But uh, this is it, okay? This is uh, all you need to know to get a uh, basic introductory sense of what a function is and, and um, you know, you can start determining uh, whether something is a function or not. Now, this, again, is a basic introduction. There's a lot more you need to know, a lot, lot more you need to know about functions. But if you understand this, then you understand the basic concept of what a function is in mathematics. And if uh, this little video helps you out uh, clear up any confusion, go ahead and consider uh, not being confused by smashing that like button for me. I definitely appreciate that. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, uh, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math uh, calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of my um, uh, the content that I post, it's taken me literally uh, a decade to do so, but I do it because I want to help uh, those of you out there be successful in mathematics. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.